It's always in a boot, except when he's playing. I mean, uh, just to keep pressure off the off the, off the stress fracture. And uh, but he didn't. That's not what he hurt yesterday. He had he had a sprain in his foot, and we didn't want to try to play him with that, which might do something with the body mechanics to hurt the foot. So it was, there's no need to do it. Give him some rest and bring him back. You know, when we come back on the 26th. Like you're talking about being ranked, it's, it's not, it's familiar for you, but for these guys, it's not. What do you tell them about handling the pressure of being number one? Well, I, I don't think it's pressure. I think it's such an honor, you know, to be ranked number one. You know, you know, so many, you know, so many teams would like to do that. I mean, in the last 25 years, we've been ranked more in a, in a, you know, number one in the season than any conference. Forget about any team. You know, I mean, it's a lot. You know, people can say, like, games that we've lost when we've been number one. How many games have we played when we've been number one? I mean, what's the record of people when they are number one? You know, we've played over 200 games as the number one team in the country. You're going to lose some games, man. You know, but how many did you win? You know, and how long did you stay? You know, because it's uh, it's not an it's not an accomplishment; it's an honor. It's a position, and we're honored to be in there. We want to be number one wherever we can be. You know, and uh, but we're not. We don't put a banner up for being number one in December. You know, you, you put a banner up when you're number one at the end. Well, they say the world's going to end tomorrow. You're going to be number one when the world ends. Yeah. <laughs> we know I'll trade that. Uh, yeah. We'll be too. Uh, if, if, is that the reason it's ending? Uh, if we're the reason, then I'll, I'll be too sweet. Unranked. Uh, I'll take a hit for everybody. Okay. Um, Coach, you've had a lot of great teams here, but can you? when's the last time you had one this the chemistry has been this tight early on. Oh, it's because even ten, uh, I, I thought we had good chemistry, but uh, it really got there in, yeah. in February. And uh, I'll tell you what, it, Kyrie's freshman year, I thought we were going to run. I thought we could maybe run the table. We had good chemistry right away with that group. You know, because they all depended on our, I mean, we had a perimeter of Kyrie, Nolan, and Kyle. Uh, it's pretty good. You know, and, and the personalities of those guys. So I would say it's like that team, and then Kyrie got hurt. So, I mean, that's what happens. Right. Sometimes, you know, you got to be a little bit lucky, but things like that. Anything else? Mike, you can't talk about signings. I know no. it's a pretty big thing happened today. You have to be happy with your program, big picture, not only now but where it's headed. Yeah, well, you know, we've run a good program. <laughs> I mean, we have a great program. I mean, I'm not saying we're we're, the, we're one of the best programs ever, and to to be able to say that over the last three decades, I'm proud of that. It's it's called sustained excellence, and. Uh, uh, and that's what we want to do. To me, that's tougher than attaining excellence once. You know, sustaining it, and at times when we've had interruptions, you know, in the mid-90s, we had two seasons of interruption, and for us to be able to come back, uh, that's been good. I mean, really good. And it's because I got good guys. I got really good guys. I've had good guys. We're going to keep trying to recruit good guys, and those good guys can really play, and then they, they would like to play together. So I got good character guys over the years, not just good players, but good character guys. Anything else? Well, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.